Over the past year or so, I've put uh, drain pipes from my gutters that drain to uh, different spots in my backyard so that the gutter downspouts just don't empty out right on the pavement and grass. Uh, now's not a good time to show you because it's the middle of February and there's a foot of snow outside. But um, let me show you how I put them in, how deep I dug them in, uh, what type of sand and stone I used, and how well they work. Okay, this is something I've been working on for the past couple years at my house, trying to simplify the drainage pattern. Um, originally, all the gutters just drained right onto the grass or the sidewalk. And here's what, you, here's what it was by the side of my garage. Um, you can see the downspout just came to this little uh, trough and it just drained off into the grass. It was annoying, it was a pain, it got in the way, so I thought I could put uh, a drain pipe that went under the ground. So. Um, I dug, I had to dig under this little pathway, it wasn't too hard, um, the ground wasn't too bad, and the key before you start any of these things is guessing how many roots you might have in an area. This was fine, I hit soft ground, it wasn't bad, I just got rid of the sod and I had clay, which is another reason why my yard doesn't drain very well. Here in Michigan we have a clay which water will sit on rather than drain into. If you have sandy soils you might not be uh, too concerned about this, but I dug down uh, probably about a foot. Um, and I widened it in this area. The first section of pipe was t a 10 foot solid PVC. The second section had holes in it to let the water drain out so I widened that area. Um, and here's where I came off the, down the gutter downspout and I had the PVC and it went under the sidewalk. And you can see it was just like that. These are two 10 foot sections and this is the section with the holes in it. Also at the end I put this upward spout so it can drain off into the yard so it doesn't flow back. Um, this was peat moss that I used for the garden, but this was the sand that I also had delivered. And I took that sand and I put that in the hole where the drains were to give it uh, room to drain. Uh, I covered it back up with clay, put the sod back on, and it was fine. That was the first area I did, and it worked great. I didn't have any problems. Here was the next one I did and I'm draining off my rain barrels. I, I had an overflow. So I bought this corrugated black uh, pipe that came all coiled up in a nice little package from Home Depot for probably 20 bucks. And that worked pretty well. I, I, I probably should have done, instead of the PVC from the beginning, I should have probably used stuff like this or they have bigger rolls of it. Um, the cool thing is you can bend it, you can twist it, you can do whatever you want with it. And for what I was using it for, this is fine. This has the holes already in it and you can put the upward spout wherever you want in the garden. Um, but this was the real hard one. I, I wanted to come down and go into the slab and under another sidewalk. And this took days of chipping away um, with a sledgehammer and a pick to go through that. I moved this slab out of the way and I ran the pipe underneath it. It was a big pain and a big mess and in hindsight I probably shouldn't have done it. Um, but I came underneath those the sidewalk and the slab and I dug out and this was all roots through here. It was a big pain. You had to cut all these out. I finally got through it all and here's the solid pipe and here's the you can, pipe you can see with the holes in it. And I originally thought, here's the other problem. The first one I did I had enough slope. This one was pretty flat so I didn't have enough slope to go down and then back up. So this ended up not being as working as well and it didn't drain. It used This used to get all wet through here. But this was the, the first year I did it. I just filled it back with the clay and put the slab back. And it looked pretty good. Here was the, the second year where I had to, this is where the drain originally went the first year and I had to extend it another 10 feet to this point. So I had to put another bend and go to here. So Things you gotta worry about are roots that you're gonna have to cut through. Those are a big pain. Going under sidewalks or concrete. If you're gonna try to go under it, don't move it because you're never gonna get it back level in the right spot. If you can dig under with a, an ice auger is what I use, a spoon ice auger. Try to leave it in place. If not, you're gonna have to re-pour the concrete. And make sure you have enough slope from the gutter here to the drain here. This was pretty flat in my backyard, so this didn't work. I had to extend it even further, and that was a big a bit of a pain. I eventually broke up all of that concrete that I thought I could save, and I put uh, this concrete. I, I had to re-pour the concrete, 
And I would suggest instead of using this white PVC, use that black corrugated uh, pipe. It's much easier. So good luck, and it's a pain digging, so take several days over the summer. Good luck.